right, welcome back to iPhoto Training. Uh, this next video is all is going to be about importing, how to get photos to iPhoto. And as with many Apple uh, products and software, there's always 10 different ways to do the same thing. Um, if you didn't catch my earlier video about, uh, about the overview of iPhoto, go check it out. Um, otherwise, we'll pick up where we left off. Now you'll notice uh, in the events here, it simply says to get started with iPhoto, do any of the following. Connect to camera or memory card, drag photos into iPhoto, or choose file import to library. So we're going to do all three of these so you can get a nice visual of how they all work. Um, now when it says choose file, it's referring to your menu bar. So your menu bar is the very top part of the screen. And your menu bar always changes depending on what application you're in. Uh, if I move iPhoto down, if I click and hold, the menu bar still stays up there. Uh, if I click on the desktop here once, you'll notice the menu bar changes to reflect the finder instead of iPhoto. So if I click anywhere back on iPhoto, you'll notice the menu bar changes immediately back to that application I was working in. Now, what it's asking here is to choose file from the menu bar and choose import to library. That's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to go to file do import to library and now iPhoto is essentially saying okay where are the pictures at on your computer that you want to bring into iPhoto and I'm just gonna navigate to my desktop because I have a couple photographs here that I'll quickly bring in now as I click on them notice I don't want to do it five different times I want to bring them all in once so a nice little shortcut is if I click on the first one hold down shift on the keyboard and click on the last one it highlights all photographs or all items in sequential order. Um, so again, that was click on the first one, hold shift, and while holding shift, go ahead and click on the last one. That's going to select multiple. Now, let's say I wanted only two out of here. That's where I hold down command on the keyboard. So if I only wanted this first one and this fourth one here, if I hold down command, and while holding command, I click on it, now it just does those select two. But I want them all, so I'm going to go back and do shift click and then choose import down in the bottom right. And as soon as I do that, you'll notice it's importing, it's showing me the progress. Here they come, and now we have some photographs. Now, you'll notice a couple different things here. Faces instantly start spinning. Last import is selected because it wants to me to see exactly what I last brought in. And if I go to events, iPhoto has now created an event for me. Uh, an event is really just a bucket of photographs. Uh, you go to a birthday party, take 50 photographs, bring those 50 in, those 50 go in, into an event, thus your bucket of pictures. If I click on photos, you'll notice it's the same exact thing. It just looks slightly different. And we'll come back to the difference between events and photos in a moment. Now some of the op other options were to drag and drop a photograph in as well as from a memory card. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to squeeze iPhoto make it a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here because I'm going to take one of these pictures, notes from the desktop that we've already brought in and I want you to see what happens. One of these pictures is already in iPhoto because we just imported it. So if I drag it, notice that green circle with the plus sign? It's prompting me to add it. Now as soon as I let go, it's going to say, hey, do you, would you like to import the following duplicate photo? And it's saying this one is the one I'm trying to import and this is the existing one that already is here. Now if I say don't import, essentially nothing happens. It doesn't bring that photograph in. But if I drag that picture in again, I'll do, uh, let's do this one here. If I drag this one in again, and then say import, now I'm going to have, notice my last import only shows that one picture, but if I go to events, I now have two different events here. If I go to photos, I now have this duplicated photo here for me. So it is kind of a nice feature if you're not quite sure if you already have a photograph in iPhoto, merely just drag it in, wait for that little green circle with the plus sign, let go, and it will automatically let you know if that picture is already in there. I'm going to go ahead and choose cancel. 
Now the third option was a memory card. Uh, often you have a SD card, a uh, memory stick from a Sony camera, Canon, doesn't necessarily matter what it is. Uh, there's various memory cards out there and there's various ways on how to get that memory card connected to your computer. Um, now I don't have a memory card but I can simulate one. So what I'm going to do here, um, I'm going to open up my memory card and when you plug your memory card in uh, iPhoto will recognize it instantly and you'll notice over here on the left hand side we have our library uh, category, we have recent, we had web, now we have a new one called devices. This devices only shows up when you have a memory card plugged in or you physically plug your camera in or an iPad, iPhone, something along those lines. So this is simulating as if I have a memory card or camera, some type of device plugged in. Now a couple things here. When As soon as I plug that in, I can see all the, the photographs on that memory card essentially. Across the top, I see the, the name of the card, the date range. So this is letting me know that uh, these pictures were taken in pretty much a six month span. Um, I can add an event name. I can split events and I can choose to import selected or import all. Now, events, like I said before, events is nothing more than a bucket of similar photographs. Um, and there's no right or wrong way on how to organize. It's purely up to you. Uh, organization, I believe, is the key to success because if you don't know where your photographs are, you will spend more time trying to find them than actually doing something with them. So if we take this for these pictures as an example, we have various different themes here. We have, uh, this is my son, by the way, Bennett. Yeah, he's quite amusing. Uh, Essentially, we have a, a quite a variety. We have some Christmas pictures, we have some snow pictures, we have some fall pictures, we have some Halloween. Now, naturally, I don't want all these pictures to be together. There's no reason at all I would ever put Christmas pictures associated with Halloween. It just doesn't make sense. You can do that perfectly fine. Me, I'm not going to do that because it makes no sense to me. So I'm going to just pull a few out here. I'm going to choose Halloween. I only want the Halloween photographs. So this is how I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna use that same technique that we did before by holding shift. So I'm gonna click once on the first one and I'm gonna go to the very last one, but before I click on it, I hold down shift on the keyboard and then I click. And you'll notice it's going to select every single photograph between those two points. So now I'm going to choose import selected at the very top and it's only pulling those or copying those photographs from my card and at the very end anytime you're importing from a digital card or a camera it's always going to say hey do you want to keep or delete the photographs from the camera that were imported into iPhoto I would always recommend to say keep them because in theory you always want a backup of your, of your photos and you always want your pictures in two place two places. So naturally I always keep them until I know they're safe and sound on my computer then I go back and delete them off of my camera. So I'm going to choose keep photos and you'll notice what happened here. Last import is now selected because it's always going to show you the last thing that you imported but you'll notice it kind of separated these two photographs. Well the reason it does this is because events are these little buckets of pictures and they get organized by date. So these two pictures were actually taken on October 18th. These pictures were taken on the 20th. Now if we go back to events, we see the several different events. These are from the two that we did before and these are those eight photographs. These are the two. And you'll notice as I just hover my cursor on top of these and move left to right, it's skimming through them to give me a quick preview of what's inside of that event. Underneath the events, you'll notice it shows me the date as well as the title for the event and the number of photographs that are actually in that event. So here we have two pictures. October 18th, they were taken. This event is untitled. Same thing with these. There's five pictures here. These were taken on November 3rd, 2012, so on and so forth. Now, I imported both of these, but there's still photographs remaining on 
my memory card. So I'm going to go back to my memory card here and I want to show you a few things because often what happens is you have a big memory card in your camera and you take pictures on uh, one day and then you come back a week later take more pictures and you've imported some of those photographs or you're not quite you're not quite sure so this takes all of that question out of uh, the area for you so notice it already shows me already imported photographs at the top I already know that these exist someplace in iPhoto these however are the new photographs these are new photos that aren't yet in iPhoto so I can choose to again to select uh, import selected or I can just click say import all of them now if I take a step back remember when uh, if I go back to events remember how these two when we imported those they created two different events well that's because we have this option to split events when we import so if I were to uncheck this and then import it's going to put all of these pictures in the same bucket and I don't want the Christmas pictures with the pictures and the leaves it makes no sense I want those two separate they're two different events they're two different time periods so I typically keep this checked because it makes life much easier I can also choose to add a name to it also so to give you an example let's take the leave pictures so I'm just going to select these again click on the first one hold down shift click on the last one and if I go up here and add a name to the event and I'll just call it Bennett in the leaves now if I do import selected it's gonna go through it's gonna copy those photographs from from the memory card into an event but now since I labeled it and I'll say keep photos now since I labeled it when I go to events it's now labeled Bennett in the leaves it makes much more sense than an untitled event and we'll get more to that to, uh, when you check out my video for organizing because organization really is there's so many things you can do and if you organize it you will be able to find any picture literally in 30 seconds now let's go back to the memory card one more time and uh, this is pretty much the rest of it so we can label it up here we can choose whether or not to split events import selected or import all the photos and we'll, I'm just gonna go ahead and import the rest of them but I don't want it to be called Bennett in the leaves I'm just going to delete that and leave it blank and I do want it to split events because I want the Christmas pictures to be separate from these other photographs and I'm gonna click on import 16 photos and bring the rest of the photographs from my memory card into iPhoto and we'll keep the photos and last import notice here what we have it all of these separate pictures were taken on different days so it automatically separated them for me which is good and also bad because you'll notice as I go to events now I'm starting to get a lot of events and events are designed to be clusters or a combination of photographs so uh, check out my next video which will be about organizing um, and we'll go from there. Thank you.